welcome. Our goal with this session is to walk you through creating a user profile for Dragon Medical. We're first going to chat a little bit about plugging in your microphone and also positioning your microphone properly so that you're ready to dictate with Dragon. This photo shows a side of a laptop and indicates where the headset and the microphone plugs are. They're usually right next to each other. Not only are they colored most of the time, but there's also an icon next to them or underneath them showing you, illustrating to you which one is for the headset and which one is for the microphone. You definitely want to have this plugged in before you create a user profile. Also in this picture, we've listed, shown what a USB plug looks like. Now on some PCs, there are two sets of headset and microphone plugs. So you want to try them both out and see which one works best. Once you have your headset plugged in, the next thing is to position it properly on your head so it fits comfortably so that you will be able to dictate without it falling off or bothering you. The phone goes over one of your ears and you can use your left or your right, whichever one's more comfortable. Then the other metal piece goes above your ear. It should fit snugly but not too tight. There's a flexible arm on the microphone that you can move around to adjust it to where you're comfortable. Like in these pictures here, it doesn't have to be right in front of your mouth. It can actually be to the side. On the mics that come with Dragon, you'll notice there's a colored dot, and that colored dot should be pointing towards your lips. That's actually where the microphone is. Once you have your microphone and your headset, you're ready to go, and we'll create a user profile. Now you want to double-click on the Dragon icon. If the open user box does not appear, because there's other profiles already created, you can click on the word Dragon and go to Open User. You'll see the other profiles that are created, and at this point you can click New. You want to type in your name here. Most of the things you will want to just um, leave as they are. Dragon does a really good job of best matching your accent. But if you do have either a strong southern accent, British accent, Indian accent, or any one of these other ones that are listed here, you're welcome to pick those. But again, Dragon does a really good job of doing a best match to your accent as, you, as it learns from you when you dictate. The most important thing in this box is to pick the correct specialty or vocabulary that you will be using. So this is a list of about 115, so you'll want to pick the one that matches best what you do. For this one, I'm going to use family medicine. The short training is what we recommend. It's about five minutes, and it usually allows Dragon to be about 98% accurate right off the bat. As you click Next, the vocabulary is being created. And then the next thing it will ask you to do is to test your microphone. There are two screens, and one will work with your volume check of your microphone and automatically adjust it, and then also the next one will be for your sound system. So click Next. And then when I click this Start Volume Check button, these words will illuminate, and I'll read them until I hear a beep and I see the word finished in this box here. In this step, the computer listens to the sound of your voice and adjusts the volume setting of your microphone. When the computer has finished adjusting the volume, okay, so it beeped. I see the word finish. This blue bar is indicating that it's adjusting my microphone volume, and then I click Next. This is the second screen that I mentioned earlier. Again, the words will illuminate after I click the Start Quality Check button, and then it will beep when it's ready. And it'll, hopefully, it will say the word Pass. That's what you're looking for. In this step, the computer checks the audio input of your sound system. Having high-quality audio input is very important for good speech recognition. 
Poor audio input will make it difficult or impossible for the program to recognize your speech accurately. When the computer has finished checking the audio quality, it beeps the signal, okay? So here's the word pass, which is what I wanted. So that means my sound system is in good shape, my microphone's in good shape, and now I'm ready to begin my training. There will be two introductory screens, which will get me used to how the training will go. There's going to be a start to finish button, or excuse me, progress bar. That's here, and this progress bar will turn green as you get closer and closer to the end of your five minutes. The words will appear in this white box, and a yellow arrow will appear to help you mark where you are. There will be times that if Dragon has not understood what you said or you skipped a word, that the yellow arrow will stop at a certain word. You want to reread that part. So I click Go, and then I can begin. Welcome to general training. Training is about to begin. Now there's a list of different options that you have to read. We recommend that you use talking to your computer, the one that's selected by default. That way, you can learn a little bit about how speech recognition in Dragon works while you're teaching Dragon how you speak. Again, this will take about five minutes. The yellow arrow will help you see how you're doing. Try not to skip any words or add any words, but speak at a, go ahead and read in a normal, flowy pace so that Dragon will get used to your speed and pitch and volume. We would like you to read aloud for a few minutes while the computer listens to you and learns how you speak. When you have finished reading, we'll make some adjustments and then you will be able to talk to your computer and see the words appear on your screen. In the meantime, we would like to explain why talking to a computer is not the same as talking to a person, and then give you a few tips about how to speak when dictating. You'll notice that I did not say any of the punctuation. If you'd like to say the punctuation, like commas and periods, you're welcome to do that, because as you begin dictating with Dragon, you will want to use periods and commas in your dictating to tell Dragon where to place those things. So if that helps you prepare, then you can go ahead and do the dictation using periods. Understanding spoken language is something pe that people often take for granted, period. Most of us develop the ability to recognize speech when we're very young, period. We're already experts at speech recognition by the age of three or so, period. When you read this training text, the program adapts to the pitch and volume of your voice. For this reason, when you dictate, you should continue to speak at the pitch and volume you are speaking with right now. If you shout or whisper when you dictate, the program won't understand you as well. Once you're done, you get a congratulations box, and then when you click OK, Dragon will begin adapting your user files. What that means is that it is taking all the data that it collected from your training, and it is putting it into your profile so that it can be as accurate as possible when you begin dictating. This will probably take a few minutes. And then there's just a few more screens before you can begin dictating. At this screen, you want to go ahead and skip this step. For Dragon Medical, because we have so many vocabularies and specialties, we don't need to have it adapt and look at other things already on your PC. The vocabulary you selected, selected in the beginning will be very accurate based off the notes and things that you're going to be dictating here in the future. So we're going to skip this step, click Next, 
and then you can begin dictating. Your profile automatically opens and you get a tip of the day. We suggest you leave these tips of the day, allow them to pop up every time you open Dragon for the, week, for the next week or so. This will give you a chance to go through all the tips and then you can turn them off if you want. But they're really good reminders of the types of things that Dragon can do for you. The most important thing that you want to do with Dragon is, that, is dictate and then you want to correct Dragon so that it will get more and more accurate over time. So your profile's done and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this session.